Traditional optical character recognition apps have several limitations, from font variations to complex layouts and more. We're going to show you a solution that delivers the accuracy and understanding that you've been waiting for. Stick around to find out more. Today, we'll introduce you to the JAMA 3 AI Vision Model for Visual Language Understanding, or VLU. What if AI could not only see the text on the images, but also understand the meaning of that text, answer questions about it, and even combine visual and textual information in one place. That's the power of Gemma 3. It's not just an OCR, it's also smart image understanding, and it's changing the game. It's like giving your computer eyes and a brain. Let's take a look. First, we have some setup to do. All this code will be in a repo. The link is in the description below. We run this kind of create command pointing to a YAML file that contains most of the libraries we will need. If you want more details on how to use VS Code, Conda, and Python, see our previous video on this topic. After that runs and finishes, run the activate command for our new environment. Then we run this pip install separately. The version of Torch we are running today is 2.6. There are other versions on this web page. This will take a few minutes to run. This is a cache directory that Hugging Face uses for any model that you download and run locally. You only need to download once. The model will automatically be downloaded inside our Python script. To delete a model, just go to this directory and delete the folder for the model. Now for the code. We have some import statements, including two transformer functions. These libraries make the interaction with the models simple and easy to set up. We also use the Torch library because we plan to run this on a local NVIDIA GPU card. We included a timer function to see how long this code takes to run. It needs to be added as a Python decorator to our function. The run Gemma function takes in three parameters, the model to use, the image, and the question we want to ask the model. We set up the pre-trained model from Hugging Face and use the eval mode. We aren't training for fine tuning, only using the current model as is. Then we create a processor for our model to use. The message format here is standard with a system role and a user role and the corresponding content for each. The content for the user in this case is an image and a question. Then we apply the template to the processor with a message and a few parameters. We send this to the CUDA device. This command gets the size of the input tensor, which is used in the next command. Then we run the model on our input and set the maximum number of tokens we want to use. 200 should handle this simple case. Finally, we decode the tokens that the model generated into text and print that to the screen. In this test, we will be using a Walmart receipt as our image and ask several questions about that receipt. An ordinary OCR app would only return the text verbatim in the order it processed the image. Since this model is using transformers and is multimodal, it can handle a lot more. Okay, we are ready to run the application now and see the results. While the model is running, we can see the load on our NVIDIA 4060 is close to 100%. This load lasted for about two minutes and the Python app took about 11 gigs of memory. Some of this may be memory that is shared or swapped with the GPU as this card only has eight gigs available. The code took a little over two minutes and here is the response. We asked for specific information that can be found on the image like the list of items, costs, and date. The model gave us back everything we asked for and was able to pinpoint the location of the text that corresponded to each part of our question. You can imagine this model can be used for a lot of different applications, like automatically picking out specific fields on a set of forms and compiling the information it finds. You could ask any question about an image and get back an accurate answer based on what is in the image. Multimodal models like Gemma go far beyond what traditional OCR can do. Where older OCR applications simply extract text, Gemma 3 and other cutting edge transformer models offer a whole new dimension of understanding. Okay, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching our video. As always, questions and comments are welcome. See you next time.